हेलो एवरीवन इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अ न्यूमेरिकल बेस्ड ऑन तरजागिस बेरिंग कैपेसिटी थियोरी फॉर स्ट्रिप फुटिंग फ्रॉम द चैप्टर बेरिंग कैपेसिटी ऑफ शैलो फाउंडेशन नाउ बिफोर स्टार्टिंग विद द न्यूमेरिकल लेट अस डिस्कस द फार्मूला बाय तरजागिस थियोरी फॉर स्ट्रिप फुटिंग so first we will see formula for general shear failure the formula given by terzaghi is q u equal to c dash n c plus q not n q plus 0.5 gamma b n gamma so here n c n q and n gamma are called as bearing capacity factors so now let us see the formula for bearing capacity factors so nc is equal to cot phi dash into a square divided by 2 cos square 45 degree plus phi dash by 2 minus 1 nq is equal to a square divided by 2 cos square 45 degree plus phi dash by 2 so here in both the equations the value of a is obtained by formula a is equal to e raised to 3 pi by 4 minus phi dash by 2 into tan phi dash and now value of n gamma is equal to half of kp upon cos square phi dash minus 1 into tan phi dash now let us discuss the formula given by terzaghi for strip footing in case of local shear failure so for local shear failure the cohesive resistance gets reduced to the two third value of total cohesive strength so that's why mobilized cohesion c dash m becomes equal to two third of c dash and also angle of frictional resistance get reduced to tan inverse of two third tan phi dash which is called as mobilized angle of friction and it is denoted as phi dash m so in order to calculate the value of bearing capacity factors for local shear failure we will use value of phi dash m instead of phi dash in this three equation so the phi dash will be replaced by phi m in all the equations so that we will get corresponding values which are equal to n dash c n dash q and n dash gamma so these are the bearing capacity factors for local shear failure so the equation for local shear failure will be q u equal to 2/3 of c dash n c dash plus q not n q dash plus 0.5 gamma n gamma dash b so this is the equation for local shear failure now we will revise basic definitions so suppose this is a stiff footing which is laid at depth df gamma is the density of the soil and hence the total weight of the soil above the base of the footing is equal to gamma df it is also called as surcharge so now suppose this is the weight of the superstructure say it is p so the ultimate bearing capacity will be equal to total pressure at the base of the footing so this will be equal to surcharge gamma df plus weight of this superstructure the net ultimate bearing capacity is the increase in pressure so this surcharge was already existed before the construction so the weight of the superstructure is equal to increase in pressure it is denoted as qnu and it is equal to qu minus gamma df now the third definition is net safe bearing capacity it is equal to qnu divided by factor of safety 
and gross bearing capacity is equal to qs equal to qns plus gamma df or we can also write it as qs equal to qnu divided by factor of safety f plus gamma df now let us begin with the numerical a strip footing is to be designed for a given total load of 350 kilonewton per meter square determine the width of this strip footing by taking a factor of safety 3 and use Terzaghi's bearing capacity equation the depth of the footing is 1 meter c is equal to 5 kilonewton per meter square phi is equal to 35 degree gamma is equal to 19 kilonewton per meter cube nc is equal to 46 nq equal to 33 and n gamma is equal to 48 now here given load is total load used for design so this load will be equal to gross bearing capacity which is equal to 350 kilonewton per meter square and value of b is required to be determined so let us begin with the solution so as per Terzaghi's equations qu is equal to c dash nc plus qnq plus 0 0.5 gamma b n gamma so putting the all given values in this equation we will get qu equal to we will write c dash as phi into nc as 35 plus Q as 19 into 1 because Q is equal to gamma DF. So gamma is 19, DF is 1 into NQ as 33 plus 0 0.5 into gamma as 19. Value of B is unknown into N gamma which is equal to 48. So QU will be equal to 230 plus 627 plus 456 b that's why qu will be equal to 857 plus 456 b so as your value of b is unknown we can obtain the value of b by knowing the value of qs so now we have obtained the value of ultimate bearing capacity qu so net ultimate bearing capacity will be equal to qu minus gamma df which is equal to qnu so qnu becomes equal to 857 plus 456b minus gamma df which is equal to 19 into 1 so qnu becomes equal to 838 plus 456b kilonewton per meter square now we have obtained the value of qnu so using this value we can obtain the value of net safe bearing capacity it is denoted as qns it is equal to qnu divided by factor of safety and hence the gross bearing capacity will be equal to qs equal to net safe bearing capacity which is equal to qnu divided by f plus gamma df so now we know the value of qs it is 350 kilonewton per meter square so putting the known values we will get 350 equal to 838 plus 456b divided by factor of safety 3 plus 19 into 1 then simplifying this equation we will get 837 plus 456b is equal to 350 minus 19 into 1 into 3 so the value of b obtained as 0 0.342 meter so the base width of the strip footing is 0 0.342 meter thank you for watching